Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Bit more Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. The DLC for pizzas is uh, is about to release today, and um, I'm very fortunate that uh, the devs have sent a copy over a couple of days early, so I can take a bit of a look at it for you. Um, so this will be my first. There we go. The Al Forno DLC has been unlocked. So I can go to the catalog or research table to enable the new content to the catalog or research table to enable the new content all right let's go do that so we'll put on the back burner for now the uh the missions that everyone is asking us to complete um maybe i'll put some of the fish dishes on but we'll see because the al forno thing has to take excuse me hiccups has to take priority today i think uh so there we go there's the new badge the wood fired oven oh man it looks very cool. Right, so we have one of these. Now I need to go and place it in my kitchen. The quite sure where the heck I'm going to be able to put this thing. Um, I'm kind of feeling like here is going to have to be the best place, thereby kicking out one of the fridges. Um. Not overly impressed with that. I don't know. We're, I mean, we're not a million miles away from sort of ranking up and being able to expand into the bigger, bigger, bigger kitchen. The proper big kitchen. What are we? Level 24. Well, that's knowledge points. We're level 23. we got to get to level 25 to unlock the full-sized kitchen. So we'll, we'll, we'll stick to that for now. So I guess what we need to do... Let's just have a little look-see here. You can cook up two pizzas in a wood fire oven at the same time. The pizzas will start cooking once the fire has been lit. Note that starting to cook pizzas before the oven is hot is not recommended. To properly cook a pizza, the oven must be hot. Relying on just the heat from the fire is not enough to cook them successfully. Relying on just the heat from the fire is not enough to cook them successfully. Okay. To get the temperature to climb up, to the required level use move fire and move the fire to where the pizzas will be wait for the stone to be hot enough before placing the pizza on to the heated spot oh my god i didn't know it was going to be that complicated pizzas cook quicker on the side facing the flame to cook a pizza fully use rotate pizza to turn it so that all sides can be cooked equally this game confuses me because some elements of it are so simulated like this. This is fantastic. And then there are other areas that are completely, completely unsimulated. It's like, how on earth did they manage to bring those two together? It's very confusing sometimes. Indicators show you the sides that are already cooked and those that still need to face the flame. How many pieces do you think we're going to burn before we get this right? So, I could check temperature with this. I can move fire with that. Okay, that's a that's a two-pronged thing. Good lord. How do you actually move the fire in real life, I wonder? Let's check temperature. So they're 125 each. I get I'm guessing that's good. New tutorial available. Where is the new tutorial? We have no idea. Bomb. So we've got a new soup that we can add. Oh, oh man, just pressing all the wrong buttons there. Meatballs in sauce, I can upgrade that. Red mullet fillets. And that's new. I've got to practice cooking that today, haven't I? Really? To carry on with the story. But the thing is, what we want to see are pizzas. What we want today are pizzas. What's this? Is that a pizza? Velute of cauliflower, land and sea flavours. No. Not one. Ah, here we go. Badges. Bacon, cheddar and oregano pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, please. Goat cheese, honey and rosemary pizza. I've never had that, but now I want to. Ham, pineapple and oregano pizza. Hell yes. Bacon, mushroom and creme fraiche pizza. Oh, 
pizza margarita. That's got to be got. That has got to be got. New ingredients unlocked. These ingredients are now available on your shelves. New cookware unlocked. They are now available on their respective shelves. New cookware. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, that's cool. Shrimp, parsley seasoning and cherry tomato. Artichoke. Yellow bell pepper and mozzarella pizza. Pepperoni pizza. We've got to have a pepperoni pizza, right? Oh, yeah, we just unlocked pepperoni. I think we're going to go for the baker cheddar, cheddar and oregano and the goat cheese honey and rosemary pizza. Um, yeah, I like all of those. And yes, what we want to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put barbecue pizza. What the hell is barbecue pizza? Is that the name of the cheddar? Bacon, cheddar, and oregano. Uh, okay. Oh, can we press that button? Right, so we want to try that one out. Uh, we also want to try the cheese pizza. Um, and if I can... Can I get one of the fish dishes done? Where the hell... Thebream fillet, that's one of the ones, isn't it? So we'll ping that on. Um, red, 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 something red. Bream, baked sea bream, sole menu air. What are we currently filtered by? Nothing. There it is. Red mallet fillets, that's what I was looking for. Right. Um, recipes unlocked. Let's see here. Beef tatar. I was talking to my wife about beef tatar last night. Now, hang on. We're tr we are trying to do some other s thing at the same time as trying to do all the other things. Not vegetarian. Not the hygiene level. No. Crown roast of lamb. I don't think we have that yet. Sea bream, red mullet. Ah, this one. The bistronomic cuisine with the theme of comfort food. Yeah, okay, well, we've got that in place. This is the only thing. The beef carpaccio is the only thing that doesn't qualify. Oh, no, beef and potatoes equally doesn't qualify. All right, well, let's see if we can find something that qualifies. Uh, Welsh rarebit. There you go. That's bistronic, bistromic, and uh, um, comfort food. And we'll swap out the beef and potatoes for beef bourguignon. It's already on there, isn't it? Okay. Beef tatar. Already on there. Parmigiana. Parmigiana is already on there. Damn it. Lamb with potatoes. Oh. Crown roast of lamb in a parsley crust and traditional. That's what she wants to cook, isn't it? That is what she wants to cook. Alright, we're going to swap that out. We're going to swap that out and see if we can uh, maybe achieve some progress whilst focusing primarily on pizzas today. What do you need for the daily service? What do we need is a lot of stuff. A heck of a lot of stuff. Now, uh, somebody commented the other day, I forget, sorry, I forget who it was who said it, but um, they mentioned that they never buy more food than they need and they've never had any... Um, I do the rounds of the suppliers and then deliver to you. Never had any um, what are you gonna cook today? rats or anything in the kitchen. Right, so I just ordered one lot and I'm just going to order a second lot and that seems to fix the problem. So, um, from that perspective, we get the highest quality ingredients and nobody gets upset with us. So that's pretty good. You don't have enough space in your storeroom. Yeah, I keep forgetting about this. I wonder if you can expand storeroom. Let's 
Shooter with Daddy Bird, Chef. Cool. All right. So, Check. responsibility is up. Hey. Morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, uh, Chef. Good morning. Let's get this place cleaned and prepped and ready. Because we're also trying to keep hygiene level above 75% for four Bird days. So here we go. First pizza. Let's uh, let's crack on. Let's do it. Should we go with the margarita first? Did I put the margarita on the list? I didn't, did I? Silly mistake. Let's try and find it now. Margarita. Neapolitan, I guess it's called in here. Right. Pizza margarita. Margarita, pizza margarita. Beautiful, beautiful pizza margarita. Right, so soon. Excuse me, dude. As soon as we only buy the best quality produce, we don't need to focus on getting the best quality produce. We just need to focus on. Uh, Our kitchen will run like clockwork today. I'm looking forward to starting. Yes. Yes, it did. We'll run like clockwork today. Right, pizza margarita, let's go. Let's crack on. Oh, crud. I pressed it once and it didn't feel like it went in. Oh no, I accidentally got rid of an extra one there. Right, let's try again. There we go. Right, so one assumes, yep, we're going to go straight in, uh, make the dough. We're going to put it in the fridge. Okay. I actually worked in a, a pizza delivery uh, guy when I was at university. So I've seen this done many times over. And that is accurate. We absolutely do need that. To put it in the fridge, that is. Perfect. Wow. I've never got one that's perfect straight away. That's pretty cool. Right. So that's going to cool down in there for a little while. Um, not really cool down, but just sort of ferment or whatever. That's already lit up. Doesn't that look fantastic? I bet you it's hot there. You'd never have the pizza oven right next to the fridge. That seems like a bit of a mistake. So what do I do? Get the thing out of here. There it is. Look at that. How awesome is this? Oh, Chef, an advertising agency is offering to promote our restaurant using viral videos. They'll take care of the promotion if we pay them, of course. Maybe I should learn a dance or two. Uh, yeah. Nice. I'll call them right away. I'm sure these videos will bring lots of customers. It'll be good. Right, let's have a look at the menu and just see if there's any sort of complicated... Uh, Oh, herbs and spices. So, I've already cocked up on that front. Other herbs and spices. So, um... Oh no, the herbs and spices go in when you mix it all together. I don't know when the spices go on, actually. We'll have to figure that out later. Oh, on the mixing table. Okay, so we've probably still got that bit to come. Okay. Um, store prepped. Rotate the pizza. Bake the pizza at maximum temperature. What is the maximum temperature? It doesn't actually say, does it? Okay, 
Okay, so what do we do? Put this on here. I'm ready to give it my all today, Jeff. You can count on me. Yeah, Roger that. Um, oh, there we go. Just a little bit clunky game. There we go. All right. So that goes down. Add on. Mozzarella goes on top. Sprinkling of whatever the hell that is. And that's it. Unable to go higher without direct heat. So if I move that there, then you can see in the top right hand corner that's cooking the right hand side of the pizza first. And so we now move it back, it now starts cooking that side of the pizza. temperature that's now 368 so I can rotate pizza but I can't move it over to the other side that's interesting but I could have got a higher heat cooked it hotter ah. this is going to take a couple of attempts I think to um, really sort of Get the, get the gist of how it works. Um, but yeah, 368 is pretty close to, to the hottest, right? How do I actually get it out? My question. Right, so I think the whole pizza is cooked. But you can only take the pizza out. Nice menu, sir once it's ready. So we're going to get a B for this. Which isn't too bad for a first go. Um, I didn't put any oregano in as either, did I? I completely forgot about that. That's probably why it's a B. So, yeah, alright. We've learnt it. We'll take that. Can't really do anything else with that pizza. That's pretty cool. Uh, for a first go, not bad, not bad. I think that's probably going to live there. And I think we need to sort of move the fire to the place we want to cook the pizza first and then um, prioritize it, as it were. <clears throat> I'm a little bit confused. Right, I've got just enough time, I think, to do a red mullet, so... Uh, yep. So, those in the fridge. Uh, oh, I've got a pizza there. I can't wait to get to work. Not mean to grab that. I meant to grab that. There we go. Where the hell's the chopping thing? There it is. Right, so this is the first time we've ever done the red mullet. Mullet, sorry, the red mullet. First step is to chop everything up into little bits. What are we chopping up? It's like four peppers. Orange bell pepper halves. We don't have any orange bell peppers. Okay, so that's awkward. Um...
It's, it's incredibly difficult to do a dish when you don't actually have enough space to get all the ingredients in in one go. It just adds so much extra complexity. It's unreal. So that's one pepper. Two peppers. Three peppers. Right. So the peppers go down there. Three lots of pepper halves. Why did it give me different cuts on all three of those peppers? That was quite infuriating as well. Right, let's grab a little pot. Turn that on. What are we missing? Chopped tomato sauce. What are we missing? What am I missing? It doesn't tell me anywhere what I'm missing. I'm assuming it's onion. How am I going to do this? How am I going to pick this up? Um, How's everything today, Chef? Ah, stressful so far. Very stressful. What are we looking at? So you're supposed to do the peppers first. Tomatoes, garlic and onion. Tomatoes, garlic and onion. Try and do that. Chopped into a little bit. Look at this. What does it look like? Nope, we've done that. Nope, I'm completely confused. Here we go. Um, oh, what is that? What does that most look like? Tomatoes? Nope, it's not tomatoes. What the hell is it then? Onion? There we go, it's on you. Why it can't just say what it is, I don't know. Makes my life so much more difficult. So, um, crap. It's season this. Oh, it's the thing. So we missed the seasoning section, the yes at the beginning. We're going to season it late. Okay, um, let's turn that down. Let's go look. Let's see what order this stuff goes in. Blah, 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 blah. So, okay, the red stuff goes in. Let's last. Hugely compl complicated dish, this. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, that's 
Should be fine now, so peppers go in the oven on T3 until cooked. Then I've got to grill the other things. Oh god, looks like we're ready to go. T3, let's try this. It's going to be really difficult. If I haven't got all the ingredients, we are now screwed because I can't get anything else out of the fridge. Keep your fingers crossed. Glass is a demanding dish. Okay, olive oil, blah, blah, blah. Hot pan, flip it. So I put the peppers and the tomato sauce together to make the parade sauce. And that's it. Almost done. Anything I need to do there? Get the asparagus in there, turn that on so that gets hot. I need to do this. Look at that. This is taking up so much space. Pipper Aid Sauce. Go for it. Red chili pepper flakes. Oh. I put pink peppercorns in there by accident. Damn it, they look the same. Yeah, okay, whatever. So this is not going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. You get an, an it's a really difficult dish, but you get an awful lot out of it. It's crazy how much stuff I've just got out of there. Right, so now we need to cook this up. Using it. Pink peppercorns. Salt. Never heard of pink peppercorns before. Completely new to me. Right, so at the end, what do we mix together? We mix the... Yep. Okay, groovy. So we should be able to get this dish done and ready for, tom for the next episode. Actually, for tomorrow's service. I'm going to try and... I'm going to, do... I'm going to try and push through and get some pizzas done today. Oh, oh. That's look nice, doesn't it? I never had um, I never had this either, red mullet, what it's called. Quick sip of tea. Cooked to perfection. Right, I'm not going to worry about washing up. Let's 
cold. Um, there's peppercorns, pink peppercorns where there shouldn't be pink peppercorns. If we get above a C, I'll be happy. That's crazy. Why did we get an A for that? So hopefully that's two of the missions completed. Two out of three. Challenges, I think they are, aren't they? Right, we'll just get this put away. And then we'll do today's service. No pizzas today, obviously, because we have to unlock them and learn how to cook them first. But, um, yeah, once we've done today's service, we can press on. Done. Okay, chefs, get yourself ready. Finally opening the doors slightly later than anticipated. Uh, you know what, Kasim? You could do the dishes today. And Jiro will get you cooking. I'm wearing to go, chef. Get me working on something. This is the first day Jiro has been cooking with us, so we'll, we'll see what he's up to. Your kitchen is so clean, we could eat off the floor, chef. The supplier has noticed and has given you a load of free products, as promised. Oh, well, that's good, except for the fact that all of my fridges are completed, uh, full, so... Hmm. Scary. Right, Adele, please. Um... I'm going to prep this like never before, chef. No problem, chef. Yes, Chef. Beef burger, you Right, so she's going to be really going at it. Chef. And we'll get here. Hero, hero, the zero. Prepare to be amazed, Chef. And prepared to be amazed. Wow, he's level 10 already. That's actually really quite good. Got it, Chef. So I could get him to make one of those, which is going to give us um, four. Look at this. We're going to get four. That's cool. Yes, okay. Sir. Well, this is easy then. This is going to be easy. All I have to do is prep it and send it out. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right today. I think we're going to be just fine. Now, the quality that he produces stuff is probably going to be pretty poor. The speed at which he produces stuff is probably going to be a little bit disappointing, but we're going to be fine. A grade. Well done, chef. Can't remember where anything is. I can't put that in there. Look at that. What a stroke of luck. The gentleman has just ordered the very dish she's just prepared. Service. Right, that's it then. Pressure's off. We've got the first customer out of the way. Don't need to worry about anything else. I suppose, technically, I could... Oh, no, I can't, because I can't get the ingredients. Can I? Can I get the ingredients? Let me, let me see if I could do this. So whilst they're all cooking, maybe I could cook another pizza. Let's have a look-see here. No, I can't, because it deletes all the other recipes. Well, that's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. So we might as well turn this off, as cool as it is. It cools down really quickly. 445 degrees that goes up to. Bloody hell. So you could start cracking out pizzas at some speed then, I guess. Right, we've got a couple of A plus here. Brilliant. Dish ready to go. What's this? That's an A plus as well. Right, I'll take that. We'll pop it over here. Right, chef. Scratch that, chef. We are going to need another one of your working lovely. With that ingredient is pure joy. I love working with this ingredient, chef. Looking forward to preparing that, chef. And then Jiro, the hero, 
could get me what should we get him to do I don't know what to get him to do, really. Look at that. Oh, four pretty crappy parmesanas. Thank you, chef. I'm sure they're going to be good enough to serve out. Maybe we'll just get him to have another crack at that. And see if he can do something a bit better. rare bit. Why can't I do the Welsh rare bit? Not enough space on the table. Okay. So we'll just we'll continue getting him doing bits and bobs that he's doing. God. She's going to take a while, isn't she? She's just making one dish, but it's like really high quality. Look at the difference between his skills and her skills. Right. So it's just produced another four level C grade quality, but the thing is, he's you know he's improving with every single one of those dishes. So every time he makes it, he gets a little bit better at making it. So hopefully, eventually, we'll start getting some B's out of him. Uh, probably won't be a while till he gets any A's cooked. Plus, he's you know he's a vegetarian chef, so he doesn't really want to be cooking anything with meat in it anyway. Thank you, Chef. Service. I love cooking that, Chef. I think another one of those, Chef. I'm on it, Chef. Don't blink or you'll miss it. That's my specialty. You're going to love it. Understood, chef. There we go. Look how quickly she made that. It's so impressive. It's not quite A plus, but uh, very quick, and it's it's very good quality. We're perfectly happy with that. A really quiet day. Loads of single customers. Why do they keep sitting the single customers at the massive tables instead of putting them on one of the smaller tables? Thank you, Chef. And that so we're, we've got one dish of this going out which I can prep up now that'll be a decent score honestly I think she's the best chef overall um, Fish dishes, obviously Kasim is, is the main man, but for anything sort of meat related, she is definitely the person to go to. Right, that's a B grade um, thing, which I could put in here. So that's pretty cool, quite happy with that. I think he made that as well. 
Yeah. So that's pretty good. He's producing B class quality food. I don't mind B class quality. I'd rather it be A class, obviously. But I'm not going to complain. What's this? A Welsh rare bit. Yeah, two of those now. Two of those ready to go. We have one high quality Parmigiana. I think we got four out of the five dishes prepped and ready to go, and one in the fridge. So I think I need to get him to do a couple of those. No problem, Chef. Chef? Go with his B class quality. I was gonna say cocker van, it's not cocker van, is it? What's it called? Tatar, steak tatar. Has anyone ever tried steak tatar? I'm curious what it tastes like. I mean, I'm not sure I'm curious enough to actually eat it, but curious nonetheless. Right, so we have got one. One Welsh rare bit, one Italian parmigiana to go. Service. Parmigiana there. Thank you, Chef. I'm not sure I can see myself to get him selling these, to be honest. Even if there's a mad rush. I'd rather just cook some fresh stuff. Right now, I think I need to get her to do this. Okay, chef. Chef. And probably three times or something stupid like that. So we'll get her to do it three times <clears throat> in an attempt to um, complete that. Kasim, tidy up, dude. talking about proper parmigiana beautiful absolutely beautiful thank you chef So we've got one Parmigiana, so Chef, we're going to need, what do we need? Yeah, we need another, another one of those please Chef, probably two more. So let's just manage that, kick that out at the end. Zero to hero. What can you make? Can't do anything. Space. Service. One waiting. these don't these look fantastic yeah they look good enough to eat they are fabulous look at that yummy i know i can help you chef you can help me chef Goes with the, with the lamb. Potato puree. Very well, chef. Make me some potato puree, buddy. 
and we'll call it quits. Nice easy day today. Hey, what, what device is that? Where did she get that from? I haven't got one of those. Excuse me. All right. Thank you, Chef. Service. Kasim, clean up. Thank you. That smells so good, Chef. Oh, only another two customers. This really, uh... Oh, three. Okay, three customers. Oh, no. <laughs> We go watch Kasim do some work. Let him make a noise. Look, he's actually washing up. He's actually washing up. How cool is that? So one assumes, and I could be completely wrong, that because he's washing up, that dramatically reduces the filth in the restaurant so the restaurant stays cleaner because he's washing up i guess i hope that's the case i don't know if that's the case new order chef I hope it is the case ah oh, don't have a parmigiana chef second I'm hoping we get a run on uh, on the cooked crown roast of lamb in mustard and parsley crust I'm hoping we get a run on that because I've got absolutely tons of it down here oh, hello what's this thank you chef Hey, that's A plus quality. He's gone. He's ranked up. He's learned something. It's, I tell you what, it's because it's vegetable based. That's why he's done so well there. That's cool. Right, we've got a lot of lamb. Hopefully, that's ticked off the that part from her quest. It's cooked a lot of lamb. Waiting on that Parmigiana, Chef. Okay, I think he's making too much of that stuff. Let's get him on something else. What else can he make? Uh, some fried potato slices. Yeah, why not? Uncooked Parmigiana. Get him cooking loads of stuff and practicing, basically. She is very nearly done on that dish. So we'll come over here. Grab the beef tatar. Service. Yeah, I think he's mastered that, hasn't he? Really high quality. Ah, oh, right. Four people have just come in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's hope they're all looking for lamb. We'll get rid of 
that Palmier Jeanne, it's just simply not up to the quality that uh, our restaurant is known for. We've got all the bits and bobs. I'm I'm available if you need me, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Oh, look at that. She's made four fantastic Parmigianas. Triple A. A plus, all of them. Right, so we've got two of these to go. Go prep that up. Um, we have one Welsh rabbit, one beef bourguignon. May all get cold. Time it takes me to prep it. Delicious. A plus. Nice work. Thank you, sir. Two out the door. The Parmigianas are getting a bit cold. And okay, I'm just going to warm this up ever so slightly. Service. That looks delicious, Chef. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well done, Chef. Compliments all round. Right, now, who cooked that? He did, didn't he? Let's see how good, good a quality it is. Oh, wow, another table of four. Fantastic. Right, so this is really high quality. Look at that, A plus, A, A, because he makes really high quality um, stuff. So I've no idea what temperature this is supposed to be cooked at. Let's go for three. Let's have a look. Temperature stay. I knew, it, I knew it would be two. If I picked three, it would be two. If I picked two, it would be three. I just, I just bloody knew it. The law of sod. Yes. It's high time my talent was put to use, Chef. Yes, Chef. I think you're doing fantastically well. You've really impressed me. Oh, crap. Look at this. Uh, oh, okay, hang on. If we get a Dell just to make two of those perfectly finished dishes, I can grab these two out the fridge they're only quality b but i think we can zhoosh them up we need a bit of parmesan to go with them or something we need something to go with them what is it we need this and fried potatoes is it yes so this is your stuff chef well done you for making raw beef tatar considering you're a vegetarian. That's not bad. I need a challenge. It's two up. Three up. It's off to the table. 
And one more. Whoops. One more dish. Well done, Chef. That looks great. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm hoping we get 100% across the board today. There's a couple of B dishes out there, so maybe we won't, but... Um, I mean, everything has gone out very quickly. Everything has gone out hot. Everything has gone out proper cooked. I've no idea what that's for. 102 experience points. You know you've done well when you get the extra one experience point. More loyal customers. 100% across the board. Well done, chefs. Great service. Everyone's happy. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very good. Very good indeed. 102 XP. We're getting closer to level 25 and the full, full, full kitchen. That was pretty good. Um, very excited to get some pizzas in the oven and test it out and cooked. We could put one of those on the menu tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.